Hi Pisces and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be channeling messages focusing on what blessings are coming in your direction in this month of August and what mindset do you need to have in order to maximize those blessings. But before I begin, let me introduce myself. My name is Lexa Taro and I am a second degree Reiki practitioner as well as an intuitive tarot and oracle reader. I want to start off by saying thank you to each and every one of my subscribers, my new viewers and visitors alike for your love, your support, and your loyalty to our channel. I greatly appreciate it. If you can please uh, continue to like, share, and subscribe so that I can continue to bring you these channeled messages. All right, Pisces, let's take a look here at what uh, messages are coming in for you, what blessings are coming in for Pisces here in this month of August. Blessings coming in for Pisces. All right, Pisces, you have leadership. There's the there there may be opportunities coming in your direction as a blessing in this uh uh you know in this month of August. I'm I'm getting a lot of information here. So number one, that's one leadership. Number two, you can be a uh, a beacon of help and leadership to other people. Okay, so I feel here that there is this sense of people looking up to you in the month of August. For others of you, you may be even promoted here. So if you've been working uh, in your career, in your industry, there may be here a promotion. Now, whether that be within your uh, uh, industry, within your department, or a promotion as in going to another uh, company, industry, or field and starting at a better rate or a uh, a sense where people are going to be looking at you. You're going to be a supervisor, a manager, and things of that nature. But I am getting here leadership here. Um, and, you know, in a way, kind of like standing out. Okay. There's a sense here of standing out. Now, the last uh, message that I'm channeling here with this card is that, as you can see, there's a lot of stars here. There's this galactic type of starry night type of uh, feel here. And, you know, this is telling me here that in this month of August, especially with the Lionsgate portal, which is going to be at its peak on August 8th. So 8-8. Eight, eight, okay. The portal is already open. It's been open since July 26th until August 12th. So this time for you, okay, Pisces, is going to be very important if you are trying to manifest or bring things into fruition, especially for those of you who are either wanting to relocate uh, into another field or in another industry, industry or trying to make moves career-wise, whether it be love, whether it be spiritual journey, but there's this sense here of uh, really connecting with that energy, okay, uh, during this time frame in the month of August. And the leadership being one of the blessings that's coming in your direction. Now, for some of you, this is talking about a heightened uh, uh, insight here of or not insight, but more so a projection of your confidence, okay? So there may be this, uh, again, this blast of confidence coming in your direction and the fact that you guys are going to be able to project this energy where people are going to come to you for help or that you are going to be, in a way, a beacon of enlightenment for other people maybe through conversations, suggestions, or advice. You have the 10 of cups. There's a wish fulfillment coming here. Some of you are uh, really looking into the direction of, uh, of the love of love. Okay. So here with the 10 of cups, this is long-term commitment. Some of you here, Pisces, this is not for all of you, but for some of you, I'm going to give you two different um, messages here for those that are in a connection already, or are in a uh, marriage, a long-term commitment. This is just saying here that there's just more fulfillment. There's going to be more emotional fulfillment here as a blessing coming in your way in the month of August. Okay. Now for others of you that are single, this is talking about emotional fulfillment for, for, uh, for some of you is this emotional fulfillment of you finally, uh, getting the sense of completion, right? That there are things in your career or in your finances or in other areas of your life that have a sense of stability. And that in a way has created some type of emotional, uh, 
you know, fulfillment here. Okay. There's something here in the month of August, whether it's an opportunity. Okay. And for you, for you single, uh, Pisces, this may mean that you may meet someone that is going to emotionally, uh, kind of in a way revive you. Okay. In regards to matters of the heart here with the 10 of cups for all of you, Pisces, it says, I have all I wish for in my relationships. Okay. And the relationships is across the board. We're talking about work relationships with colleagues, uh, collaboration, clients, and things of that nature, family, friends, loved ones. Okay. So that's how it's coming across. There's going to be this immense fulfillment here with the 10 of cups, happiness, excitement. Some of you are going to have celebrations here in the month of, um, <clears throat> in the month of August as blessings. So for those of you that have been dating for a while, this can also indicate here an ascension to your level of commitment. So proposals, weddings, okay. Uh, spending time with family. All right. So let's take a look here at what other blessings are coming in your direction here in the month of August. So we have here the hanged man. There's going to be an awakening to a new perspective here for you with the hangman, especially here for those of you who are going to really use the lion's gate portal as an energy center here to really try to align yourselves with certain perspectives, enlightenments, or clarity of the mind. The hangman says, yes, it says limbo, but what that means in reality is stopping, taking a moment to quiet the mind, to recalibrate yourselves and see things from different perspectives. And that may be here, the blessing that's coming in your direction in the month of August here for you, Pisces, is this sense of an aha moment, a moment where you are able to connect the dots and in a way, carry yourself as a leader, okay, as a, a valuable asset here in whatever areas uh, of your life or whatever sphere, work, love, career, romance, um, you know, family, friends, domestic scene, okay? All right, let's take a look at more blessings that are coming in your direction here. Pisces, you have rest and rejuvenation, meditation, when you connect, especially here with the Lionsgate portal uh, that's occurring right now in the peak, again, is a, uh, August 8th, um, I feel here that a lot of you are going to have the sense of peace, inner peace, being able to connect with your inner self, being able to quiet your mind, to able to listen to the intuitive uh, messages that you will be getting. Okay. And that in a way is going to bring this sense of revi revitalization into your spheres of your life, your career sphere, your love, your spiritual journey, your domestic, uh, uh, scene, home, you know, all these areas of your life. You also have here hostilities. Now, what this is talking about is letting go. There are a lot of you may be having at this moment in time, your guard up or this, um, this, uh, in a way jaded type of personality or a jaded type of energy. Okay. So for those of you that can relate to this, okay. Um, listen up. There could be others of you here that may, or they may be still clinging to arguments, to disagreements here, to hostilities. Okay to verbal or emotional situations that may have occurred here. Now, in this month of August, your blessing is going to be turning that around into happiness, okay? So looking at that, those moments that occurred in your life, in your past, recent past, maybe the last couple of weeks that there was this big argument. Here, it's all about the emotional fulfillment, the ability to let go and release of that energy and just have a better relationship. Maybe it was just, you know, uh, you know, bumping heads, not really seeing eye to eye on something. Perhaps a resolution is coming in for you here in the month of August as a blessing for you to, in a way, uh, have this sense of inner peace and create more uh, loving and more uh, of a deeper connection within your relationships across the board. Okay. You guys also have here the hanged man. Now the card that was right after that, or right after the hostilities is the broken heart. Now 
Some of you, there was an argument or there has been an argument or there may be an argument or disagreement here in the month of uh, August here. And this is telling you that when and if that occurs, there's going to be a blessing of perspective. There's going to be an aha moment, a moment where you realize uh, and you understand why certain things may have been said and how to, in a way, create the lower vibrational energy of bumping heads, of argument, of conflicts, and turn it into the blessing of happiness uh, across the board in your relationships. Okay. Now let's take a look here at what mindset Pisces you need to have here in order to maximize these beautiful blessings of happiness, of a uh, new perspective of leadership, of quieting the mind. Okay. Let's see here. It says, I attract loving relationships into my life. And uh, Pisces, if this isn't a confirmation of what was just channeled two seconds ago, I don't know what is, because let me tell you, this is talking about having relationships that you consider to be loving rela relationships, nurturing relationships. I feel here in the month of August, you're going to let go of relationships that no longer serve you and really focus after this, uh, you know, intense, uh, perspective of awareness that you're going to have here on which, uh, relationships you're going to go ahead here with this leadership card that you're going to go ahead and attract, maintain, nurture, and grow. Pisces, I hope these messages are insightful. Click here on the Lexitaro logo to be part of the Lexitaro family. Click down here for more messages. See you soon. Bye-bye.